Now I will demonstrate you this thing here. Look, this is what the ties looks like. If you remember the missing catalytic converter, what kind of troubles that gave me? This is basically the profile of the tires, of what is on the tires. There is no profile, basically. It's like flat almost. There is nothing. What happens is this kind of stuff, what it does is when you have to bother with a stuff that you should not bother yourself with, that you're wasting stuff on a time like this, rather than search for the job, rather than concentrate on completely other issues and wasting extra money on the stuff like this, it leaves you in a situation like this. But the seller did make sure that he would insure the car for, I don't know, how much money in case I would get into the accident. What you see right there, you know why you see this shit like this? This is because the screwdriver was stolen from me. And so after I already did the job and the only thing I needed was to unscrew that thing. And they know everything you do. They absolutely know for every step you do. And the only thing that happens is before your job is due to do the stuff, the screwdriver, a simple tool disappears. And again, you are left out on a cold. But anyhow, insure the car for, I don't know how much money, insurance, car insurance, he did that. And this is what he talked about. Um, under MK Ultra, he, he, he put this fire extinguisher like under the passenger seat. It's a really, really nice feature. But the stuff like this that leaves you in a situation, I'm gonna gonna put it this way. This one is gonna be for Americans. I was told by the Polish people alone when Yeah, there were people that watch this stuff very, very concerned, worried for my safety, for my well-being in the future. And so I, this Polish people told me. The American guy, the young American guy who was driving the car, several of them who drove this car had a real problem. They put exactly what the seller told me under MK Ultra, why the tires are going to be like this, because he's going to put the tires like this. So you're going to get used to first driving in Lodge because really the road is like lines are like fade. You cannot see the middle lane and stuff like this. It's must the traffic regulations, the signs and stuff like this need improvement here. There is no doubt about that. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be changed, need improvement. So he suggested to me that he's gonna leave me the tires like this. He had excuse for everything. And for this one here, for the tires like this, he's gonna leave me like this because so I can get used to driving in Luch in Zgiersh. Most likely the first tire I would even destroy in uh, here and so on. This is, might be a true to a certain extent. It might happen to others. I did run into a few very strange situations I have found myself. However, this is, this kind of stuff like this, this is not, this is not what you do. The thing is that this is okay. I saw this with my own eyes when I purchased the car. However, I did not know anything about a catalytic converter missing and stuff like this. This kind of stuff I did not know. And it's that kind of stuff that was used to push into this kind of issues. If it would have been a snow, they told me, the Polish people told me, there was an American guy who barely, barely escaped like a complete, complete crash. They told me in the mornings when you go, do not go with the car, they told me. If it's a little bit snow, if it's something, if it's cold, the road turns into icy conditions. With the tires like this, you're dead. You're good as dead. You're going to skate on the road. They told me this. When it's a situation like this, do not even go out on the road with this car. One guy barely missed death. Literally like this, they described this. So this stuff was well anticipated. All this stuff was well arranged like this in step, step, step by step. But for every stuff they do, for everything they did, they find their own ways 
you know, for the person subject to MK Ultra and to the future ordeal to see it. So you would not see it in a worst possible way. So this is kind of a hilarious stuff. I don't even know what I would say in respect to that. It's a good car. I think it's a really good car. I like the car a lot. Uh, but this kind of stuff makes uh, things really, really crazy. Just that you have to drive three days like this with, with, with this kind of a crap in the front seat when I'd rather to put one inside where it belongs, change this, antifreeze. You have to have it like this on the front seat, display this garbage and so on. It affects a lot your morale and stuff like this. It's quite, uh, quite impressive the way they have done this stuff.